We're now in the final days for the Milwaukee Film Festival, but it isn't too late to explore some new films and also possibly exposing yourself to some different cultures. Marcelo Martinez with Cine Sin Fronteras joins us now. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. So first, tell me about your organization. Yeah, so Cine Sin Fronteras is uh, the Latinx portion of the Milwaukee Film Festival that caters to the Spanish-speaking population in Milwaukee. And um, it literally translates to Cinema Without Borders. And our aim is to showcase untold stories from the rich and vibrant Latinx diaspora from around the world and to complicate the notion of what it means to be Latino. So we do that by representing indigenous communities, Afro-Latinx communities, uh, Chicano communities, and Caribbean, South American, the whole gamut. Why is a platform like this film festival so important for what you do? It's important because uh, representation is important and um, it's important to cater to the communities that are here in Milwaukee. So actually eight out of our nine films are in Spanish with English subtitles, which is not something you usually see, um, especially in Milwaukee mm -hmm. when it comes to the cinema. To be able to expose uh, Milwaukee as a whole um, to your films that you have showing, what does that mean to you? To me? Well, to me personally, it means a lot. I mean, I grew up um, Mexican-American, so um, I grew up seeing a lot of American films, but never really um, Mexican or Spanish-speaking films. So it, for me, it's just really um, important to see myself on screen, but not mm -hmm. only myself, but other portions of what it means to be Latino on screen. Just various stories throughout, throughout the experience. Correct. Tell us about, because we have uh, information on a few of the movies that are showing tomorrow. Yeah, what absolutely. are you looking forward to most? Um, I'm looking forward to all of them. Okay. I did help. I helped pick all of them with our wonderful programmers. Um, tomorrow at three o'clock, we are showing Yuli, and that's going to be playing at the Oriental. In fact, our first showing was sold out, which is really exciting. The second one was pretty much near sold out, so get your tickets now. Yeah. Um, this is about an Afro-Cuban dancer named Carlos Acosta, and he was the first uh, black ballet dancer in the Royal uh, Ballet in London. Um, Really exciting, really quick side note on the first showing, we did actually, we do partner up with the Milwaukee Ballet and we did have a, a lot of young ballet dancers in the oh, theater wow. and it was really nice to see them on, to see themselves on screen, yeah. see that explored. Um, we also have at 4.45 p.m. tomorrow at the Avalon Theater, um, it's a film called uh, Sueño Florianopolis or Florianopolis Dream and it's a film that takes place in the 90s and it's this Argentinian family that travels to Brazil and they kind of find themselves in themselves. Um, in that trip and I, I like to say it's a coming-of-age story but and it doesn't really focus too much on the teenagers it actually focuses more on the mother and the father yeah which I thought was really exciting so so many stories are being represented uh, in these uh, three films thank you so much we have more information on other films we won't be able to get to them but yes. you can find uh, information and more information about Sina Sin Fronteras program on our website at tmj4.com just head to the links section